Yeah, hello everyone. Welcome to this channel once again. I am Felix Bliss. Today we are creating another church flyer. You know, church flyer is one of the flyers you can create. So let us look at how we can create this church flyer. I'll put the images I use in the description so you can download them and then try them on your own. So the first thing you need to do is to set the dimension. So I'm going to set dimension of 1002 here for the width and then 1219 for the height okay then our, the orientation i'll maintain it at the portrait the resolution i'll maintain it as a click on the crate something like this so this is the whole document that we are going first thing i'm going to do right now here is i'll change this one to here by just unlocking this one then i'm going to import a picture right here then increase the size okay something like this okay for me then i will change the blend mode for this one from normal to luminosity something like this then i'll reduce the transparency okay, or the opacity down all right so from here you just need to create a mask and then go for the brush by pressing b then i'm going to change from the white to black i'm going to brush this but i'll just reduce the opacity for the brush to 50 then I'm going to crash this particular area as well. And from here, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to add the name of the church. Okay, so I'll go to test, then I'll change the color from white, then go for the black, then I'm going to write the name of the church. So I have everything already organized here. So I'll copy this Rich Mountain Ministry. So Control V. So if you have the logo, you can also attach the logo to it. Since we don't have the logo here, I think we need to increase the size for the ministry, okay? And then bring it down here. Then I'll select everything. I'll go to my properties of the test, okay? So this is the tracking of the test. I'm going to increase the tracking to something like 75. So we have something like this here that we need to do. Let's go to our information here. So it is alpha close over hour, okay? That is the name of it. So what I'm going to do right now is I'll copy the alpha, then let's come back to the layer, make a copy of this test, bring it down, select everything here, and then paste it. Hold font, okay? Then I'm going to increase the size for this alpha plus over set to auto. So I'll change the leading from auto to something like so I'll change the leading to 72. Okay. but we have something like this then i can increase the size for the crossover something like this then i'll copy the alpha here Control j i'll bring it down i'm going to change this alpha from this to something different Put the sheet key and then select up to the alpha then right click on this and convert to smart object okay and then what we are going to do right now is we will go here and then put this particular background position it on this one and lift it to this test so that the test will be like this so alpha cross over hour then let's go back and do some changes to our background this one what i'm going to do right now is go for the branch Capacity is set to 50. Let's change this one to white. I just want this area to become small. Something like this. Then let us reduce this one to 10. Then calm down small. Then add that one to Nice. So we are done with that one. So what we are going to do right now is to add the other information. Okay. So I'm going to add the venue life on. Then follow us on this one, okay? So the venue will come here. I'll change the venue size to something like 48. The size for the venue here is too small, so I'll just have to increase the size more to 30. Good. The next information is watch live on Facebook and YouTube. So I will select this control. C. Facebook. So I have this set of icons here. I need Facebook and YouTube. Okay. So what I will do is 
I will just go for the marquee tool and then I'll cut this. Okay, control J. Then I'll click on this one, go for the marquee tool, then I'll cut the YouTube as well, control J. Then I'll delete that one. That I have these two icons here. I'm going to place them right here. The size is too big, so I'll select the two together. Then I'll reduce the size. Nice. So from there, you add the other information. And then the rest is follow us on all the social handles. Okay. And so then make a copy of this control J. Place this one here. Okay. So this is all about adding the text first. Then the rest, we are going to add the other information, the preacher, and some other details. He's a great man of God. If you have been joining us for a while, you know what I'm talking about. So I'll bring his picture right here. Then I'll remove the background. Click on the mask, move the background. Okay. So this is the man of God. Okay. And let us flip the image horizontal like this. So we get this one shape to this side and can increase the size. Please, this is not an advert. This is for educational purpose. Okay. So I'm just teaching how to create simple text flyer. Now we can go for the brush. B for the brush. Let us reduce the size. Then I'm going to brush this particular side. Okay. The opacity here is 10. Let's set it to 90. As we are going up, we will decrease the opacity. So I'll set it to 80. Going up again, I'll set it to 20. Point. so it's like a gradient uh -huh. you can use gradient to do this but if you know how to use the brush it's another way to do that okay so now that we have this add the name of the minister to, then i'll add the name so the name is pastor iris ajumai i'll change the color to black Then I'll increase the size. I'll bring it down to where the white is so that it will be more transparent. After adding the name of the person, we'll just add host. We'll make a copy and change that one to host. Then I'll change the color to this red. So you can see my colors are very uniform, okay? Just try to use only three colors for this particular design. Black, yellow, red, okay, post. Very simple. Now we are not done with another thing, one important thing. I just have to add this particular image to it. So this clock symbolize hour or time, okay? So we are going to place it right above him here. You can see this is a game changer. It has changed the whole thing. It has changed how my design looks like. You get a point. I'll just place it right here so from here i'm going to just give a shadow for the clock okay i hope you know how to do that okay this is very simple if you want to add a shadow let's create a new layer and then go for the brush b for brush then we'll go for this particular brush style i'll increase the size small i'll set this one to black then boom See, it is not quite black because the opacity is set to 20. So go back again. Then let's change the opacity to 100. And now look at this. Yeah, we have this. You can just deepen it. So from here, you can transform this something like this. Bring it right here. Increase the size. And now our clock has this particular shadow. 
let's place it right here and so look at all the shadow oh very bad and after the shadow good so this is a very simple way you can create church flyer in photoshop i think this tutorial has helped you it's very simple and easy all you need to do is get your stuff organized and you're free to go my name is felix bliss if you have enjoyed this tutorial please this channel like our videos and try and comment as well if you don't understand anything i'll see you in our coming tutorials bye bye